Good morning friends, welcome back to my channel. My name is Heather and this is Honest Homemaking. And today I'm supposed to be filming a spring clean video. The kitchen spring cleaning video. But here's the thing. You've seen me clean this kitchen a thousand times. It's always a disaster. And I don't feel like I can clean, spring clean it when it looks like this, right? You can't spring clean if things are already dirty. Okay, so <laughs> let's explain a little bit here. Most of this, aside from my appliances, my little nail bag, is groceries that I bought yesterday that need to go up here. But I can't get them up there until I clean that out, which I'm going to do when I spring clean which I'm doing today. But I also have a crap ton of dishes because we always have dishes. There's just stuff everywhere. Of course our dinner from last night because you know how I am. I never clean up after dinner. I am pregnant with my fourth child, if you didn't know, and I'm tired. <laughs> so by the time I go to bed, or by the time dinner is over, I'm done. Oh, and I've been having one cup of coffee a day. This is after I microwaved it. It's like still half full. Well, it's not half full. But I've already microwaved it once. I'm gonna have to heat it up again. And yeah, anyway, so I thought that since I have, Leo is playing with the broom and the Swiffer stick. Since I have to clean this up so that I can spring clean, I thought that I would go ahead and film that then I would film the spring cleaning. So, let's clean this kitchen. So, if you are like me, the first thing you notice when you saw this is that I'm wearing my shirt inside out, and yes, I wore it that way all day, and yes, I went out in public, but that's okay. So I decided that I would start in the pantry since I have all of these groceries that I need to get put away and off of my counter. It's a good chance to check expiration dates, put things in a better organizational order, get rid of things that somehow my kids always seem to put back like empty cereal boxes and things like that. So I don't know if you've noticed, but I have been trying out the more natural cleaners. That does not mean that I am completely against like harsher chemicals. I still love bleach. Sometimes bleach is the only thing that is going to help clean whatever you need clean. But I figured if we could avoid some of the chemicals some of the time, why not? And I noticed that they're really not that much more expensive than regular cleaners and they just, they do smell a thousand times better. So it's a bit later and I have my uh, list made here, purge every cabinet, which we have a lot of cabinets. Um, we have one down here, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, behind my tripod, 10, 11, 12, 13 cabinets. So I feel like we have a small kitchen, but I guess we're lucky to have a lot of cabinets. Um, I've already, you already saw me do the two. Purge every drawer. I realize we only have four of those. Um, scrub the cabinet doors. Anyway, I'm just going to uh, pan it quickly here and you can pause it. Of 
462 pages. So, there you have it. I have my list. As you can see, I mean, you can't really tell because our window is messed up, but it's clearly dark outside now. Even though I recently went through and organized under my cabinets, it is amazing to me how quickly things get crammed full of stuff again. It's just like an easy place to throw things out or to throw things to hide them. And so I find myself just sticking things under there to, you know, like kind of clear off the counters. And then before you know it, it's crammed completely full again. It was a very hodgepodge mix of things. It had spices and sauces that didn't fit in the other cabinet. And then on the top shelf, we also had started sticking a bunch of medicine. Um, I'm, I don't know why we started keeping medicine in the kitchen. Um, my mom never did. I wasn't raised that way. So I'm not sure how that happened, but I decided to take all of the medicines except for Tylenol and Advil and my prenatal vitamins and take them upstairs. cabinet was kind of just our craft aka junk cabinet um, it's got a few projects like I painted those picture frames I need to get them hung up um, it has some stuff where we made slime food coloring and things like that and it just another random place that we just throw things and just needed cleaned out it was ridiculous It may seem like I have so many pots and pans and baking dishes, but these are things that I don't use very often. I may use them two to three times a year, like for baking birthday cakes or things like that. So I don't want to get rid of them because I do use them, but they are things that just need to be stacked better and stored better 
in the back out of the way so they're not taking up like the front prime real estate. And you may notice I'm unwrapping some new pans. Chris was very sweet. I told him that I wanted to brighten up the kitchen a little bit with some springtime colors and so he and I talked about it and we decided to go with kind of this blue color. And so, you know, we're replacing the reds that we had with the new lighter springy blues. And so he bought me a new set of pots and pans. This poor junk drawer, it is the worst. I'm sure that everybody has a junk drawer, but like I feel like ours is just above and beyond. Everybody in our family piles things up in here. If you guys have noticed a trend yet but uh, can you tell that when there's any flat surface we just pile it up with clutter just homeless clutter I saw a video from Cass from Clutterbug the other day and she was talking about homeless clutter and just finding places for that so I'll link it below I found it very helpful you may too but I'm working on finding homes for all of this clutter and junk that just finds itself piled on our flat surfaces. 